A lot of engineering professionals are interested in expanding their skill sets into other avenues of engineering, maybe even the business side of engineering. However, they're not sure how to get exposure to those skill sets. My guest in this week's Engineering Management Lessons video, Matthew Lowe, Licensed Professional Engineer and Senior Vice President at Hoyle Tanner Associates, is going to talk about a transition point in his career that helped him to really expand his skill sets, broaden his horizon, and eventually reach his ultimate goal. Matthew, can you share kind of that transition point or growth point in your career with our viewers? Probably the biggest change for me was I, I started my career with a couple of small firms and I, I had some technical expertise at that point. But what I really wanted to do was get into more of the business aspect. And I, I knew I had to make a career change to do that. So I, I, I did leave a firm that I was I was uh, I was tied to, um, but it was a big decision for me. And I, I needed to move to a different firm where I could get exposure to those types of things. So it was a big, big decision as a young engineer to do that but but really if I had never if I hadn't made that change because of, of where I wanted to head um, I, I think I'd be in a lot different place right now you know so I, I think that was a big a big catalyst for me was making that change in 1999. That's great and I think that that's great advice for engineers because I think sometimes as engineering professionals we do want to branch out we want to try something different but the opportunity just isn't there for us, whether it's in our firm, in our department, in our division. And it's kind of your responsibility to make a move, not necessarily leave a company, but make it could be within the company, but make it a move within the company and put yourself in a position where you have the ability to do what you want to do. Exercise that skill that you feel you have within you, that strength that you really want to utilize. You're a leader, you want to lead projects. So when you go through your career, think about all the things you want to accomplish, but then think about the moves that you need to make to accomplish them. Because kind of to Matt's point, you may want to be leading your company in 10 years from now, but the things that you're doing today will dictate whether or not you're able to do that or how quickly you're able to do that. So please keep that in mind. And Matt, thanks again for your advice. You bet, Anthony. All right. So I challenge you to take Matthew's advice and use it in your career. Where do you want to expand your skill sets? Can you do it within your company? Do you have to change divisions? Do you have to change offices? Do you have to change companies? Think about where you want to be in five, 10 years from now and how are you going to get the skills that you need to get there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like and consider subscribing to our channel. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I hope to see you next week.